Are you wanting to become a business coach, but you don't know the exact steps to take? In today's video, you're gonna discover the five-step roadmap my clients are using to become successful business coaches. And if you stay until the end, I'll share with you a resource that reveals the 10 most profitable coaching niches for business and executive coaches. So let's dive right in. Step number one to becoming a successful business coach is to identify your expertise and excitement. Now, why do we start with the expertise? Because if you're not an expert at what you're going to be coaching on, it's going to be really hard for you to get results straight up. So you must look at your career, at your knowledge, at your experience and clarify what are you an expert in? What do you know without a shadow of a doubt that you can coach somebody on to get them results? That's one area to start. But the second key area is to make sure to identify is that area also something that brings you joy and excitement? Because nothing's worse than building a business where you can help clients, but you're miserable in serving them because their mindset or their values don't align with yours. So step one is to identify not just your expertise, but also your excitement. When you're clear on those two things, it's gonna be a lot easier to put in the work, invest the long hours that's required to build a successful six-figure or seven-figure coaching business. The second key, is to solve a painful problem that people are willing to pay for. So if you work in corporate and you wanna become a business coach, then it's very simple to figure out what is the problem that you're gonna solve because that's what people pay for is we pay for solutions to our problems. So maybe you're a sales coach, maybe you're an executive coach, maybe you're in a leadership coach. What are the core problems that when solved would produce tremendous value for your clients? Now, this is not only to help your clients get great results, but it's also to help you charge high ticket. Because if you're in corporate and you're already making six figures or multi six figures a year in a salary, then you've got to replace that salary to do coaching full time. Why? Because there's a certain quality of life and, and, and lifestyle that you are accustomed to. And so you're not going to get there by charging $100 or $200 a session, right? You just don't have enough hours in the day, but you are going to get there by charging high ticket. And the more painful the problem is that your coaching solves, the higher ticket that you can charge. And so that's why we wanna get clear on that. And generally what I do is I choose a problem that when solved produces 10 times the value that I'm asking for. So if you are charging $5,000 for your coaching or if you are solving a $50,000 problem, then you can charge $5,000 for that. If you are solving a $100,000 problem where you're bringing $100,000 worth of value, then you can charge $10,000 for that. That's a simple way to think about it. The third key is to leverage your relationship capital for advocates and clients. If you've been working in a career uh, for 20 or 30 years, then you have built relationship capital over the years. You have people that view you as an expert and that know, like, and trust you and want to see you win. So before you get into funnels and ads and all those things that are important down the road, you want to first leverage the people who know, like, and trust you, your network. And what that means is conducting market research interviews with them so that you can get clients from your own network and get referrals. And in fact, the strategy here is what I call market research interviews. It's something that my client Neil did. And literally in the first 30 days, he added six figures to his consulting business. Now he was already making half a million dollars a year, but imagine adding $100,000 in 30 days, pretty awesome result from conducting this. If you wanna hear his story, click up here and check out his video now. But that's the key, is he did it through leveraging his relationship capital and really cultivating those relationships with the advocates and the, and the network that he has. There's two more keys here to becoming a successful business coach. Uh, and the fourth one is getting clients results fast through a case study program. A mistake that many coaches make when they want to get into business coaching is that they waste too much time getting ready to get ready. And yes, you know, you want to have your program to be valuable. And I get that. That's really important. And you want to also launch the first version because the first version is never the last version. It's always going to get better and better. But the only way to start optimizing and making it better is to get that first version out there. So the easiest way to do that is to announce a case study program. So maybe you desire to charge $20,000 or $10,000 for your coaching. Maybe the first program that you launch, you don't charge that amount. You charge only $5,000. And so instead of you know it being $10,000, which is what your normal pricing is going to be, you announce it as a case study program. And in exchange for the client's testimonials 
and their success stories, provided that they get great results, you're willing to offer that first you know, program for 50% off. Now you've created urgency for them to join now. Why? Because they could wait a month or two or six months and they could pay 10 times, 10,000, or they could join now and get half off. And so that allows you to get a handful of clients into the door so that you can prove your system, you can get the results, you can, you can capture those success stories and that becomes your marketing. And when you have that be your marketing, when you've got those case study interviews and those testimonials on your, on your funnels, in your emails, on your YouTube channel, it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier for you to get high ticket clients. The fifth and final step to becoming a successful business coach is to invest in your path to mastery. Now, do you need to get certified to become a successful business coach? You don't. In fact, I'm not certified. I never got certified as a coach. I didn't. I got training. I've hired tons of mentors. I've invested literally hundreds of thousands, probably over probably a million dollars at this point in my in my in my business and in my evolution and in my growth. But I didn't invest in a certification. Why? Because I already had a level of expertise in what I was coaching in. So if you don't have that, then yeah, maybe it's time for you to go look at a coaching certification. And if you wanna know that and kinda of get a deeper training on what that means and decide whether or not you re need a certification, then just click up here in the corner, watch this video, and I'll explain it there. But if you feel like you already have 20 years, 30 years of experience, and you don't necessarily need the handholding and the letters that you're under your name, you're already an expert, then go look at in improving your skills, maybe your sales skills, your lead generation skills, your marketing skills, right? There's a whole lot more new skill sets that you need to develop to be a successful business coach. And it may be completely different than what you dedicated the last 20 or 30 years to in your career. But why do we invest in mastery? Because we wanna be the best. And that's the only way that you're gonna differentiate yourself is by up-leveling beyond your competition. So those are the five steps to becoming a successful business coach. Um, if you want the resource that I mentioned earlier that's going to reveal the 10 most profitable coaching niches for business and executive coaches, then just comment niche below this video and my team will send you the resource right away. Now, before I wrap up, uh, I just have a quick favor to ask. Uh, I recently discovered that the majority of my viewers aren't subscribed to my channel, 71% to be exact. And that's way too high. And so if you've gotten value from this video, uh, please click up here and subscribe to the channel. That way you can never miss a future video and you continue to get these free videos that give you actionable strategies that you can implement right away. And once you've subscribed, subscribed to my channel, make sure to check out my next video up here, which reveals the fastest path for you to replace your corporate salary and become a full-time coach. So click up here now to watch that video. My name is Peter Scott, reminding you to be here, act, now and fear less.